I wanted to make a short video for some of you who are really just starting out on this to explain what you need and all you need because this board can be a little bit overwhelming with the few things I've got installed here. You need an inverter. This is a 12 volt, 200 watt, 2200 watt. And this runs my air conditioner. It runs my uh, lawn tools and I can recharge my uh, three horsepower electric motor uh, whenever I need to recharge that battery. This is all I need for all that. And the air conditioner I'm running is a window unit, which is in some of my other videos. So you need this. This is gonna come with these cables. You're also gonna need a solar controller. I have a 200 watt panel, 240 watt panel outside. You need that too. And this is what brings that electricity in from the panel and then feeds that down to the battery, okay? These are the wires coming in from the panel. These are the wires going down to the battery. Then what you need is a shunt. And you can connect, see how I've got the inverter connected directly to this negative, I like bus bars because I've got a couple of things installed here. But um, you may not even need that. You, you may simply need a shunt and an on-off kill switch or a breaker. Um, probably a breaker would be better. But uh, then from the shunt, that feeds down to the lithium battery. And this has a 100 amp BMS, which says it can only accept 100 amps going in, and it can only send out 100 amps. Now it does spike to around 280 from tests I've seen. But normal use is around uh, 100 amps. At 100 amps, the cable you need coming from here at this distance, up to six feet, is a 1AWG, that's what I'm using. So that should be, you should have a breaker in place the maximum amps this can carry is 150 amps. So you should have a breaker in place here, between here and your inverter. The breaker needs to be rated for the cable, okay? Now this battery is also able to pump out quite a few. So this fuse, which is also critical, that fuse is rated to the maximum that the thing can kick out at 280, so that's a 300 amp fuse. So obviously what I want is I want the breaker to disconnect before, but in case, instead of that on mine, I've got the on off switch because this is more of a marine type environment. But that's all you need. Inverter, solar controller, shunt, battery, and the panel. And in this video, I didn't want to show anything else because people are getting confused. And uh, that's all you need. I'm going to give you pricing on this now. And for me, I would include the two bus bars just to clean things up and make it a simpler uh, and cleaner installation. The shunt is in critical to let you monitor how much is going into your battery and how much is coming out of your battery. This will show you what's coming in solar, but if you have something else charging that battery, then this is the only way for you to know. These shunts are critical. That's how I know how many watts these chargers draw and how many watts my air conditioner draws. But this is all you need, plus the solar panel which I'm gonna include in the video. So I just wanted to clear that up. Some people are getting confused here. And uh, that's all we have. This is the window unit air conditioner that I'm running. It draws about 400 watts during deep cooling and about 87 watts when it's just running the fan trying to maintain temperature. About three watts when it's in standby.